Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day. Those of you who have followed my journey know that I've been prepping for my third frozen embryo transfer. And so if you haven't watched my previous videos, um, I encourage you to do so, but I wanna kind of fill you in a little bit with where I'm at today. So I began my fertility treatment beginning of May. I've had uh, many disappointments along the way, but I've tried to stay optimistic throughout the journey. And despite the failed attempts in the past, I, I felt like I needed more answers for why um, I wasn't achieving a successful outcome. And so ultimately, I had decided to do an endometrial receptivity analysis, which is a very lengthy process, but ultimately it could give you and your doctor um, information that you need in order to achieve a successful implantation. So that all seemed very appealing to me after my, you know, my failed two previous attempts. And so I began preparing for my ERA at the beginning of September. I had my ERA October 16th, and at that point, I was then able to begin prepping for my third frozen embryo transfer, which is today, November 27th, which if you kind of think about how much time that all took to get me to where I am today, it was about 12 weeks. So I'm definitely ready to just get this going and, and have some positive results after so many disappointing um, experiences that I've been through. And so I wanted to create this video for a couple of reasons. For those of you who have never had a transfer before, I kind of just want to give you a heads up and kind of show you what to expect. For those of you who maybe know somebody who's undergoing fertility treatment and are just interested in the process, or maybe you don't know anybody, but again, you're just interested in the process, this video is for all of you as well. And so in order to get you to your transfer, you of course have to have the date and you have to have the time. Um, the way that my practice handles things is they call you the night before, they let you know the timing of your transfer, and so for me, when I received the call, I was told that my appointment time today would be at noon. And so you want to make sure that when you arrive at your appointment, that you have a full ladder. And the person who you talked to the night before should also be telling you this, but I just want to make sure that I reiterate it because it's really important. If you don't have a full bladder, they're going to just have you sit in your room and you are just going to have to drink water. And yes, that has happened to me in the past. And it's very frustrating when that happens because you are just so ready. You want to just have that embryo transferred into your body and then you have to wait even longer. So save yourself that disappointment and make sure that you have a lot of water in your system. Um, this is the one that I've used. Of course, any water bottle is sufficient. And so making sure you have a good breakfast um, or whatever time of day your transfer is that you've had a good meal prior to that and that you drink a lot of water. Um, I am somebody who I feel like I'm always drinking water, so this is really easy for me, but again, um, maybe not so easy for somebody else. So once you get to the practice, you'll walk in, of course, there's going to be COVID testing questions, um, you know, the basic ones. If you're undergoing fertility treatment, you're already pretty used to those. Something that's different though, um, that my practice done now instead of what I went through um, a couple years ago with my son. When I went through my first transfer experience, I was able to go into the room with my husband. He was able to be present for everything, which was terrific that we could both be together to experience this stage or this step in our process. Um, unfortunately, due to COVID, um, your spouse is not allowed into the room with you or even in the practice at all. And so this is something that I, I did completely alone and, you know, it, it is what it is. It's the time that we're living in, right? So as long as we're safe and healthy, um, that's, that's all we can do. Now, when you walk into the room, you're going to see a variety of different people. So don't be alarmed. Um, at first, there's going to be a nurse who's going to give you some discharge papers and instructions so that you have them ready to go when you are ready to leave. Um, next, she will leave and she'll tell you to get undressed. Um, waist down, make sure you have socks on, of course, and the ultrasound specialist will come in and they will assess your bladder to see if there is um, if it's full enough or not. And then um, once they leave, they will either let the rest of the team know that you're ready or if you need more time. 
and eventually the doctor will join, um, the nurse will come back in, the embryologist will come in, sometimes there is an additional assistant. So without further ado, um, I'm going to get in my car looking at the time and I will give you an update once I'm there. Hi everyone, I'm about to have my third frozen embryo transfer. When an embryo is being transferred into your body, doctors prefer that your bladder is full. So this is a picture of my ultrasound. I'm told my bladder is perfect. It drinks 40 ounces of water, so they should be in here shortly. This is what the room looks like. My legs will go up here. I will watch what's going on on the TV. Put my stuff there. Ultrasound and back to me. Ready to get the show on the road. This is a picture of my double A embryo in its petri dish. So you can see all the other stuff mm -hmm. that's not in the dish, mm -hmm. so on the outside of the glass dish. Mm -hmm. And you can see the catheter. She's going to pick up the embryo, which is right there. She's going to pick up the catheter, pick up a little fluid. Once the embryo had been picked up by the embryologist, my doctor guided the embryo into my uterus. This was a very quick process. Once you're finished, you simply put your clothes back on and go to the bathroom. I did it. So because my bladder was full, it was a very quick process. I'm all finished. The embryo's in my body. Now it's time to go home and relax and wait. So now I'm back at home and I'm going to kick my feet up. I'm going to relax. I've got this little embryo in my body. So we're going to just kind of keep our fingers crossed and hope that all goes well. And um, if you would like to follow along with my journey, please don't forget to subscribe. If you would like to be updated with all the new content that I post, also go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions for me, go ahead and post those in the chat as well. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.